It's hard to believe, but I live here just on my right hand side, in the middle of that road there. The houses are of the smallest two up, two down kind. They have no lavatories and no water. A few of them have taps in the yard. Most have to go to standpipes at the top of the street. Even some of these tiny dwellings are split between several families. We are standing at the bottom of Queen Street in Enniskillen. So we are standing in what people called the back streets. After the First World War, it became known as the Dardanelles because of the number of men from the back streets who had fought at the Battle of Gallipoli. Housing conditions really by that stage uh, were, by our standards, really very poor. No sounds of accommodation at all. What do you do? Well, we use the bin. That's all we have to do. The footage, it is fundamentally a hugely important resource in letting us see just how people live. And this is Mrs Maguire and 11 of her 12 surviving children. And when it rains here, the rain goes straight through, from what's left of the roof on the third storey down to the stone floor of their living room. Have you tried to get out of here? Oh yes, oh yes, we've tried different times. My father had uh, put water into the yard and put a toilet out into our backyard, but not everybody had the skills that he had, so, so not everybody had toilets. Those were, the, those were the things that we grew up with here. Memories around here was happy. Uh, we had lots of friends. The whole thing about it was, was people coming together. It was families coming together. It was mates coming together. You made friends here, and really and truthfully growing up here, you didn't get out of the streets to play. One of the things we've actually found is we're getting structural remains from the houses themselves, we're getting the bricks, we're getting loads of little small bits of pottery. It was little Evie there, she found a little bit of window glass. So Evie was able to hold this little glass and to know that she's the first person in the last 60, 70 years to actually do that, you know, it kind of brings, it brings the archaeology alive. I think getting children out of the classroom, coming to here and literally on the ground, learning about the houses that were here. And I think it's really important that they can identify with their town. It's fabulous for the children. Even if they only find bits and pieces, old pipes or bits of jars or whatever, what they're doing is they're, they're unearthing history.